suck. Which led the gray hamster to R1 the orange hamster. Chapter what? Chapter 3 is titled Fun World. What? Hey yo, what the f him wanting to lose his V card to a spicy doll. In my other video, I claimed I was looking forward to losing my Bruh. to a forward slutty hot girl. I meant what? forward slutty. So What's up guys, it is your friendly neighborhood black man, Big Ryan 16 back where another video drop it because I'm having a good day, night, afternoon, whatever you're watching this video. And in this video, we're gonna be reacting to YouTube's darkest animations by Morbid for fun. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe with the, with the bell and also get notified when I upload a new video comment. What do you guys want to react to next? Honestly, I feel like some of these dark animations are gonna be like OG like type of YouTube videos, like videos from like um 09 to like 2013. So I feel like that's how some of these darkest animations are gonna come from. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Anyways, let's begin the reaction. On YouTube, you can post a variety of things such as vlogs, pranks, live streams, etc. But another niche on YouTube is animation. Throughout the years on YouTube, we've been blessed with amazing creators who make animations such as Meat yeah. Canyon and Lee Hardcastle. Whenever I think of dark animation videos, the first thing I always think of is Meat Canyon, not gonna hold you, because most of his animation, except for like a couple, are always dark. And sometimes the man behind the camera what is the more disturbing is this? than their content. In today's video, we talk about YouTube's darkest animations. Mm. The first person that we will be talking about is the one and only Meat Canyon. Hunter of course. Hancock. <laughs> Hawk. Widely known of course, me can. Or Papa Me is a versatile American content creator active on YouTube, TikTok, and live streaming platforms. He is recognized for his parody animations that take iconic characters from Western media and infuse them with a or animation comedic twist. Hunter's unique art style aims to evoke a sense of unease or horror. Some of his notable animations include yeah, the first one I ever saw was the, was this Looney Tunes thingy, like like the bugs. One. It was either this or uh, it was like uh, I believe it was uh, anime one. I think. Oh wait, no, it was Yu-Gi-Oh. It was Yu-Gi-Oh. Uploaded until January twenty seventh, twenty seventeen. His content spans a range of creative roles, including writing, directing, voice acting, and comedy. On December thirtieth yeah. of twenty twenty three, oh yeah, in this video, on his main channel, announcing that he is leaving temporarily and doesn't know when he'll come back. He is leaving because he didn't feel happy with his content and it felt like he was being forced to push out videos just to get more money and subscribers. But from the looks of it, he will still be active on his second channel, which is called Papa Me. Oh yeah, the oh yeah, his um other, his second channel. Yeah, not gonna hold you. I always enjoy his second channel too. Made some pretty dark and disturbing content. However, in this case, Hunter is a very respected artist in the community, and just because he makes dark, creepy videos does not mean that he is a bad guy because honestly, I love watching his second channel and he is such a funny and chill dude. Missing Halloween. Missing Halloween stands as an iconic animated short film created by Mike Cannell, released on October 30th, 2015, and has amassed over 30 million views for its intriguing dark narrative. The story right, now this dark. revolves around a boy named Nick eagerly awaiting his friend on Halloween night. Although the characters remain unnamed in this silence piece, fans have dubbed the main character as Nick. The animation kicks off with Nick spotting his friend outside, prompting him to rush out while his mother investigates the visitor. Following a snapshot of the two kids taken by Nick's mom, they embark on a trick-or-treating adventure. Mm. The story takes a poignant turn with a flashback to a year oh. earlier, depicting how Nick and Mary first crossed paths. Nick, finding himself locked out, discovers mm. Mary sitting on the curb in front of his home. A simple act of kindness, offering her a piece of candy, initiates their connection. The oh, candy no. unwraps Watch the how this ends with someone dying. Watch how it ends with someone dying. Nick like, I'm, to make more I'm not trying to talk that much, but I, I kind of want to know. Curiously, despite being alongside Nick, Mary is ignored by those distributing candy during trick-or-treating, completely ignoring her and act like if she's invisible. Post trick-or-treating, Nick and Mary enjoy their candies on a hill where once again, Mary finds the message, you found me on her candy wrapper. Upon returning home, a doctor is seen conversing with Nick's parents. Nick, sensing a peculiar situation, playfully snatches the doctor's documents, only to discover a diagnosis stating he has imaginary friends. The revelation that Mary isn't 
real leaves Nick desperate to prove her existence, yet his efforts are met with disbelief from those around him. Following this, Nick and Mary return to the hill, where Nick then touches her face to confirm Mary's existence. Mary, annoyed by Nick's constant touch, stands up and heads towards the wooden area surrounding them, marked with a danger sign warning of bear traps. Undeterred, Mary finds an opening and rushes into the woods with Nick following closely. As they Oh no, okay, okay, no, I swear. It's, she's leading him to a bad place. Oh no, oh no, okay. And she's leading him to like a bad place of, um, that's protected by um, barbed wire and it says dangerous because of bear traps and stuff. Yeah, oh no, oh, let's continue. Oh no, I feel like something's bad about to happen. Oh no. The forest, unintentionally triggering bear trap, Mary eventually rests by a tree. Nick joins her unharmed. Oh? And they sit together to enjoy their candy. Notably, Nick's candy wrapper reads, I found you, while Mary's wrapper states, You found me. The animation then shifts with a white flash to the parents desperately searching for their son. Amid their distress, the parents eventually locate Nick. However, the revelation goes beyond a mere reunion as it becomes apparent that mary has been real all along nick lies next to her now decomposed corpse now this short film is very sad and dark but it is beautifully animated and i do recommend the okay i gotta watch it after this i gotta watch it after i gotta watch the full video after this. i gotta watch the full animation after this because what is the I, I gotta watch it in another full context. I gotta watch it and watch the full context. Because the score is also amazing as well. Nelson's brother. This is a weird one. This what, video the what in the world is that? On April 7th, 2019. What is this that? This is a animation of a dog that's presumably Nelson's brother. You see the dog play with his spinning toy and then this happens. Oh no. What was about to happen? Oh no. Dear God! What in the? Because this looks like something SpongeBob would actually do, just for like funs, but funny moments. But God damn! What in the actual world? Yeah. Very weird stuff. Also, I figured out who Nelson is, and it's this infamous meme photo oh, of it's... a dog. I feel like this video was only made as a passion project for the meme. And okay, honestly, it, it was for that meme, okay. But I, seriously, I what in the world was that? Just weird. Henry Eats. I don't... Henry Eats is a classic OG horror video that? that was posted to YouTube on December 13, 2013. However, what the hell's with the teeth? It states that this was his first short film that he made back in 2003. Henry Eats is a short animated film created by British artist and animator Ben Wheelie. The story unfolds with the brain like what in the devouring the heads of miniature figure like men. The perspective widens to reveal that this creature resides inside the head of the standing dude. Later, I identified as Henry Eats, who lived okay, okay, I know, I know he just said, I know it just said, it's from, it's from 2003, I know it just said, it, he, he said it's just, it's from 2003, this is like his very first animation, but what's with the teeth, what's with the teeth in the let's, because sometimes when you think about your first animation, you just you come up with a sign that's very ugly. Pouring fluid into a mug, the narrative shifts to a small door opening to unveil a crawling dude who emerges okay, what? from the mug through a straw before retreating into his space. The day concludes at What is with that one? Seems to set to repeat the next day, but a twist occurs. Deep in the woods, we encounter the dinosaur, a symbol of death, advancing towards the standing dude. Okay, why is that? Why is that the only one that does not look ugly? Like the other two look ugly. This one don't. Proceeding to the standing dude, the dinosaur is poisoned for a similar fate. But the scene transitions back to the brain creature at the critical moment. The miniature men on the conveyor belt cease, signifying the demise of the standing dude. Outside the cabin, the headless standing dude appears at the window, accompanied by the haunting Henry Eats theme. The screen fades, concluding the short film. With all honesty, I have no idea. 
idea oh what this animation means. It is pretty, uh, I guess, means. unnerving, disturbing, not really that dark. But it's not dark, but it's really disturbing. It, it, it's massively disturbing. Like Lee Hardcastle. Lee Hardcastle, a British oh, what is this? animator, gained fame for his graphic claymation videos. He started on YouTube in 2006 with the video titled For Our Words in the Woods. Initially using toy G.I. Joe figures, he later incorporated clay in animations, as seen in Toilet Doom. Lately, he has expanded his collaborations, working with major players like Adult Swim, Bethesda, Disney, and oh, others. Adult Swim? His claymation style sets him apart in the world of animated content creation. Lee is an icon in the claymation space, so Ooh. I want to talk about my two personal favorite claymations that he has made. And before I get any comments saying that claymation is not animation, because this cap. is considered a cartoon, well, cap, you cap, it, it actually states cap, like it, it, it's, is I'll say it's, it's technically, it's so technically it's animation. animation. It, it, it's technically the animation. I want to talk about is Hamster Hell. Hamster Hell is an adult horror series. The first episode of the series called Arrival aired on October 5th, 2011. Episodes started to air without a regular schedule, but were released every three to four weeks on average. The final episode, Death, aired on March 8th, 2012. These were hey, originally the? posted as eight different uploads to the Lee Hardcastle channel, but what has since been doing? They were unlisted because on June 12, 2012, Lee decided to add all eight shorts into one full video, which that upload has gained over 20 million views. Chapter one of the series is called Arrival, and it's about this kid getting a hamster without the permission of his parents. It turns out that the kid has another hamster in the room. Then for some reason, the new hamster oh, pees on the no. face of the gray hamster. I don't know why. Chapter two is titled White, and it shows the what two the hamsters fighting. When the okay, kid never finds out about the fighting, he decides it's a smart idea to split the hamster habitat into two different sections. So that makes sense. Two hamsters with a wall of tape. However, the orange hamster easily took down the wall of tape and got stuck, which led the gray hamster to armor the orange hamster. Chapter what? Chapter 3 is titled Fun World. What? Hey, yo, what the f My guy! My guy! Okay, I get he 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 pissed on you, right? I I, I get that, right? I, I I get I get that, right? I get that, but I kind I, I kind of think R R wording him, right? I kind of think R wording him is probably I think it's more f than p getting pissed on. Not gonna hold you like uh, you could have at least got like revenge and pissed on him back, or you could have at least sh on him. I don't think you should have like world which the kid makes a homemade amusement park for the hamsters, where he basically a is the orange hamster. Now to skip around a little bit, it is later revealed that the orange hamster is pregnant and gives birth to baby hamsters. The kid finds the baby oh, and pretty fascinated. The kid quickly grabs his hamster for dummies book. Watch out it's because, because he got pregnant got because of the great one. It Watch out it's because he got pregnant because of the great one. Despite reading this, the kid simply ignores that message and plays with the baby hamsters. After putting the babies back into the habitat, the orange hamster sees a delicious number four quarter pound with cheese meal with a large sprite and eats the meal then it cuts to the perspective of the gray hamster and he sees the mother eat its babies which by the way that's actually a real thing so if your hamster has babies do not touch the babies or else like it'll remove the baby scent and the hamster will eat its babies oh, it's a true thing. Oh. in the next chapter you see the kids reaction yeah to let's aftermath. a lot of animals do that uh, it's it, it's after but like, it like eh, after he just that. killed his hamster he puts it back into the box and cries his sleep since this kid is horrible at taking care of yeah, okay, he has to be horrible. He, no yeah, he's horrible. <laughs> it causes the gray hamster to resort to cannibalism and eats his dead wife. It Dear God! Reaction to this gruesome scene, and I don't know why, but the phase on the kid is hilarious. <laughs> out of frustration, he throws the box at the wall and yeets the gray hamster out of the window. Finally, the kid cries like a loser, concluding the film. This claymation is pretty good. I gotta watch this. I gotta watch this for a video. No cap, I gotta watch this for a video. I know it may take a lot of censoring. I know that it may take a lot of censoring, but I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna watch this now. <laughs>
<laughs> Dear God, I, I know you just explained it, but like you just skip certain parts, so I I gotta watch this for a video now. I I gotta watch this for a video now. And dark, but it does have <laughs> oh my God! Story basically telling you that pets are not toys. Another iconic claymation from Lee Hardcastle is the infamous Simpsons couch gag, where you see the Simpsons family get brutally murdered. This was uploaded on Oh, he made this one too? Okay, I, I didn't really seen this one. I've seen this one before, but I never knew the, the creator. The room looks very creepy. Then the bullies, aka Jimbo, Kearney, and Dolph, break into the house so they can kill the Simpsons. Before doing so, Bart goes up to the window and gets shot by a crossbow. Once the bullies enter the house, Homer tries to call the police, but Jimbo uses a machete to cut Homer's hand. Following that, Dolph then gets- Trust me, guys, it is real. It's really- I mean, really gruesome. Thankfully, he, he, he censored. Marge and unalive Maggie off screen. Marge, who is still alive, fights back successfully, but tragically, she's been hit by the machete again, Damn, she... to lose a lot of blood. Surprisingly, Lisa's the only surviving member left. And then she also dies, yep. Police officer Wiggum shoots Lisa, which is morbidly funny, because that is something that Officer Wiggum would do in the show. Honestly, they actually would do that in The Simpsons. Like, Lisa just dies randomly. Like, she... Like, if this was fair, Family guy, we already know Meg would also got shot. Linton Allen Labute, also known as Dolly Flesh, is a Canadian individual with severe autism who's okay. What in the world is that white? I'm guessing that's a female, but what in the world is that known for creating clay animations with disturbing content? His actions in 2019 led to significant legal consequences. Labute's Okay, yeah, I think we can all agree that claymation, claymation animation. I'm gonna say it now. It's probably like the weirdest types of it's weirdest type of animation. Not gonna lie, like it's either that or like stock motion animation. Cause I swear to God, I swear to God, I feel like like most of the like weirdest shows you'll find like on TV is either it's either claymation, like uh slow motion animation, or it's probably like um like something like SML, but like probably like yeah, I ever seen this um Mr. Meaty from Nickelodeon? Like dear God. Yeah, it's gonna be something like that, like this. This ah. internet journey began in 2016 when he started posting clay gore and dismemberment on Instagram oh, under God. the name Misery Magic. Later that year, he launched a YouTube channel where he shared violent and gory content created in 2013. His clay stop motion animation. Oh yeah, I may have to put this video as not for kids, even though I already do that. Or Lee Hardcastle, notably one reoccurring character, Itchy the Clown, drew inspiration from the serial killer John Wayne Gacy. He's even made a sculpture replicating the Pogue of the clown painting now all of his accounts have been taken down but archives do exist and oh boy dude his yeah. animation claymation photos oh my god and i want to one of the goriest things i've ever seen and i do not recommend to look up his artwork on google just don't do that i don't mean or want to praise his work but i'll admit he surely knows how to make stop motion and sculpt which is a uh... very hard thing to do from my personal experience but what he makes is just flat out disgusting and disgusting yeah, I kind of question how people would be making like this gory type of stuff. Work to a respected artist like Lee Hardcastle, for example, some may argue that it's the same. However, I would disagree because Lee's work actually has a compelling storyline to the animation. And plus, not every other scene is gory. There's an actual story being told within the claymation. But when it comes to Dolly Flesh's stop motions, there's no right. story. It's just kill, kill, and kill. Kill, kill, kill for, for last. Disturbing. <laughs> Because we love dark humor. We love dark and shock humor. We gotta be like family guy. You know what I'm trying to say. In May 2019, Labu posted a vlog on YouTube showcasing him playing with three new hamsters. Oh no. What did he do to the hamsters? depicted the torture and killing of these animals through stabbing, amputation, yep, crushing, and microwaving. Of course he does that to the... Authorities were alerted by concerned fans. Of course he does that to the... Consequences when he was arrested on May 20. RIP to the hamsters. Like, for for all. R.I.P. to the hamsters, bro. Hamsters. Despite being released on a $1,000 bail, his trial took place on August 16th, 2021. He received an 18-month conditional sentence and four to five years of supervision, with conditions including a social media ban, dub. curfew, and... Dub ending, dub ending. Yeah, he does not deserve to be out of jail. He does not to be out of jail just for that. Animal cruelty, lacking remorse. His arrest sparked protest for his imprisonment. 
leading to conditions such as the termination of his main YouTube channel in January 2022. Dumb. A former friend revealed abuse. I usually don't ask for people to get terminated, but sometimes people really don't deserve to be on, on YouTube or have a channel. So honestly, dub term termination. Like dub ter termination for bro. With bullying in school, he was clearly a disturbing individual, made disturbing artwork, etc., and he should be locked up or you know forever. Dolly Flesh may have been a creep by making his weird videos and you know well what i just said he's like a very disturbing individual but him as a person is very weird and i don't condemn bullying but i understand yeah, like... why he was bullied because one of the videos that he posted onto youtube was him wanting to lose his v card to a spicy doll in my other video i claimed i was looking forward to losing my Bruh. to a forward slutty hot girl I meant what? forward slutty silicone. I'm the type of guy that never wants to have kids. But if you decide to have babies with girl, you don't have to worry about it starving or being lock this up. Lock the lock them up. How just just lock them up. I, I don't want to hear now. I don't want to. I don't. I don't care. Lock them up. He just has right. to be in jail. Perfect. Who Wait. posts this? Or even one without like, 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 seriously, who posts this on the internet? In her like, I want to know that now. Like, who posts this on the internet? Ear canals, which are stretchier than real human ear canals. If you don't have a poo fetish, then you won't have to worry about her pooing or farting all the time. Yeah, he is just a weirdo. <sighs> Huge shout out to Turkey Tom because he did make an amazing documentary on Dolly Flesh. So I do recommend. Oh yeah, respect Turkey Tom. One. Yeah, uh, Turkey I Tom's also great. Covered Dolly Flesh in one of my videos because, like, what over a year ago, maybe almost two years ago, I was compared to Dolly Flesh in the comments for like multiple <laughs> videos. And not gonna lie, that was kind of funny. How I, I mean, I'll admit, I did kind of look like Dolly Flesh. You kind of, you kind of did. Not, not, not gonna lie. Look at her haircut. Like, god damn. Like, very funny joke. And, like respect uh, respectfully morbid you kind of do respectfully with that hairstyle you kind of do i didn't know who he was when i had that hairstyle but that that, that was funny low-key that was funny but uh luckily i don't have that hairstyle anymore and that is the end of youtube's darkest animations go follow me on my other social media damn that that, that last one was really fucked up for a for all so anyways, that was the video hope you guys enjoyed the video all right well <laughs> God, okay, okay, okay. So my prediction for um the animations being like like early like 2010s was pretty like correct. Cause before like 2016, 2017, where YouTube was starting to like age restrict like like content like this, there used to be like so much like gore and like gory type of like stuff on YouTube where you could post. And unless it's like rarely and I mean very like up, you could you could honestly get away with it because YouTube sometimes YouTube wouldn't like take it down. So honestly, it's just you could post it and unless it gets like massively reported youtube wouldn't have taken it down but now nah, seriously that last that last one was left up not gonna hold you that last that last one like yo r.i.p to r.i.p to like the the hamsters because like because why in the world do you think of like r-wording them hammering them using a machete and then using losing your v-card to like a, a puppy like uh, uh, I, I i sometimes don't understand the world and i sometimes don't understand animators who do stuff like this like like sometimes you can respect their work but sometimes i'm just like dear god you really you really like i'm like low tier god like and give somebody else a piece of that oxygen and an ozone layer that's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trapped bubble because what are you here for so guys, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the bell and it's going to notify when I upload a new video. Comment what do you guys want me to react to next. So anyways, that was the video. I'll see you bros later. Bye. Peace.